let's do a thought experiment. Um, if Elon Musk is actually sending people to Mars, which I think he's actually going to, I believe he is. Uh, I think it's um, just one of the few steps that we're gonna be taking um, toward uh, an intergalactic empire, which I think is the future of humanity. Um, not only is that the future of humanity, I, I think it's actually um, um, the, only, the only choice we have. Uh, we don't have that many choices um, because as we've, as we've, as we've learned, um, all material dies. Everything that is made of material, thus everything that is made of energy, dies. And, and when I say dies, as in it literally evaporates um, into thin air over time. Black holes die. Black holes die. Uh, after radiating uh, Hawking radiation, uh, as proven by Stephen Hawking uh, a, long, uh, 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 a long time ago. Um, the guy that came up with string theory. Um, he's an astrophysicist. Um, um, planets die. Galaxies die. Um, humans die. All material dies. Everything that makes energy dies. Supernovas, births and deaths of galaxies death is uh death and birth are, are are two fundamental constants of uh the material universe um the reason i'm saying this is because um eventually the planet is going to die um which is inevitable like i'm uh, like i said before uh, as i've mentioned um thus elon musk and other space explorers or space entrepreneurs are essentially insurance policies for human for the human civilization they're essentially um they essentially funded uh but by, by the government which i completely agree with i approve uh as seen by uh elon musk uh, spacex collaboration with nasa uh and the recent launch uh, uh with humans um aboard a uh, aboard a uh, uh, space uh, the spacex ship uh, launch into the international space station uh, which was successful, um, uh, which is just the first step to uh, the human race developing uh, large enough ships that can uh, transport uh, big amounts of people all the way to Mars, which I believe is Elon Musk. Uh, is, that's his one of his one of his bigger goals, um, uh, uh, which I think is achievable, which I think will be achieved. Um, so the reason I'm I'm, I'm actually uh, saying all of this is because um i was thinking um so imagine actually that uh elon musk does succeed or jeff bezos or whoever else succeeds in getting rockets to mars uh uh we build uh some sort of some sort of um uh, insulation sort of insulation uh system massive massive system that uh can um that can uh harbor human uh, human life and uh, and uh, uh, grow the, ne the necessary things uh, that humans need for survival, like foods and stuff like that, uh, which I think is achievable. My question is this: Once we are able to essentially stabilize a good population in Mars on Mars, um, and uh, and um, and we get to a plateau point where we decide. We want to have that population grow so as to, you know, uh, grow future, future workers and future people that we will be able to help us explore Mars more because it's still on, it's a very large planet. It's still unknown. Uh, 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 the one year on Mars is about 800 and something days, which is a, more than double uh, how many days it is uh, for a year in, uh, on Earth. Um, so, uh, so Mars is very mysterious. It's very big, a lot to explore, um, and uh, we still don't know if we're going to be able to uh, survive there. So we have to do a lot of scientific experiments. So we're going to, and it's going to be inefficient in a way in the long term. It's going to be very inefficient to keep shipping um, scientists and engineers to Mars. We're going to have to essentially grow them in Mars in a way. Ironic, right? So we're going to have to grow them on Mars essentially saying that 
we're going to have to have scientists give birth to Martians. Uh, we're going to have scientists, um, uh, this, this is going to obviously be advocated. Uh, we're going to have scientists give birth to children, Martian children, who are going to uh, learn a curriculum and become explorers and inventors and, disco and discoverers of Mars, the unknown planet, right? And I was thinking um, how ironic that was. Um, and, 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 and just think about that. So if we are the human race and we would like to have them explore this planet, uh, as much as possible and send us as much knowledge about this planet as, as, as they can possibly get and we, and we have them uh, um, reproduce and the population grows okay would it be in our best interest would it be in our best interest to have the children that are born be aware that they're from earth originally or would it actually be better to not tell them that they're from earth and just have them explore Mars as so though it's their home and convince them that this exploration uh, is what they're supposed to do from birth, right? And uh, when I was thinking about that, I was thinking, like, that's the most efficient thing you could do because um, uh, that's if you insulate the individual on, on, on this planet and, and, and give them one goal, one motivation uh, uh, that takes out all the distractions and allows them to be the most efficient workers, right? And if you think about it, that's essentially what humans are. If you look at the human existence on planet Earth and look at our evolution from the beginning of whenever you want to start uh, from religious beginning or scientific origins uh, or from uh, origins of the universe, from the physics or science perspective um, if you look at things from that perspective um, that's essentially what the human race is we've essentially um, been sort of locked in this in this planet in a way uh, but despite the fact that we're confined within this planet doesn't mean that we cannot we don't have we, we, we never had access to the greater galaxy, which is my, my main point. My main point is, is that this planet is not all that exists. This planet is just one of the few planets that we can inhabit. And, um, and, uh, and uh, we have the ability to access this intergalactic grid of the universe and travel the universe and explore the different parallel universes. And um, we have this capability, um, but uh, we've been limited access to this capability because it distracts us from our mission, which is to explore and learn as much as possible on this planet Earth um, so that whatever entity exists that needs this knowledge is able to benefit from it. Uh, because that's exactly what we're going to do when we make Martians and uh, have them reproduce and create the, the, the civilization on Mars or other future planets. Think about that. Let me know what you think.